Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gaurav Kumar Gupta and I am a technical test lead in MNC. From today onwards, I am going to create a playlist containing different interview questions, basically coding questions we are going to deal with. So let us begin our lecture. In an interview of PwC, I got a question from interviewer. Let us discuss that particular scenario itself. The interviewer asked me to have an input as a boy is good in a string and he wanted to have an output like this one. Desired equal to big. Basically, he wanted to have every first letter of the words present inside this string. So we will try to solve it using different steps and we will focus on the step instead of the, the target itself. So let us begin. And in that interview itself, the interviewer asked me to write the code in a particular compiler, online compiler instead of IDE. So let us begin. I opened online compiler Java, typed it and opened any particular, particular compiler itself. I opened this one. So let us try to replicate the scenario itself. According to the interviewer, what should be the string? It should be boy is good. So we will write boy is good. And he wanted what output? Desired output is desired equal to big. Basically, each first letter from different words inside a sentence itself. How we can do this? First of all, first step we will go, go forward. The first step will be to, to differentiate or to find out different words inside this sentence itself. How to get out, how to fetch all these three words, we will get to know. The first step will be to, to extract these words from this sentence itself. We can do it using a split method of a string. How? Let us see. Here, the split method try to split the different words present inside a sentence itself. So here, boy is good can be extracted, means different words can be extracted using spaces because you can see here, boy is good. There are void spaces present in between these words itself. So we will use the concept of void spaces, which can be done using double quote and in between in between it there will be spaces there will be spaces you got it now we will do the first step itself so what we will do we will split so s dot split we will do and in the bracket itself we will give the condition what is the condition void spaces and one more thing i would like to add that s dot split give different indexes for a string array. So we have to put this, these indexes, whatever in the words, whatever we got in a string array. So we have to create a string array, a string words array we are creating means string array we are creating and storing inside this words string array. Now what to do? We have to iterate for each word whatever we got after splitting the sentence boy is good. So we have to give a for loop, for loop. And inside that particular for loop, we will use int i equal to zero, semicolon. i should be less than what? The length of this array itself, string array. So we will write words dot length. Words dot length, semicolon, i plus plus we will do. and what we need to do, we have to print to, to know whether we are getting the words separated or not. So we will write system.outprintlen system.out.println println and we can remove this one. Again, we have to practice in the online compiler itself because generally now we are getting questions to solve in the online compiler instead of ID. So what we need to do, we have to use words bracket of I because indexing is what I. So let us try to run it and check whether we are getting the correct output or not. 
so we should get boy is and good but as we are typing in online compiler we will get error try to resolve the error because as a tester it is our responsibility to find the error itself so here you can see that semicolon is expected so i have to give semicolon here now again i will run it and check whether i am getting the correct output or not so i will get boy is good but till now our target is completed only 50 percent because we are getting boy is good not big because desired output is what big so what need what i need to do i need to find each first letter of the words whatever i am getting so for that particular thing we have a different method which is known as care at care at of index whatever index you want so here you can see that we want the first letter of each word means boy is and good so we have to give and also we know that indexing starts from zero so we have to give zero for the first letter of each word so we have to give care at of zero so here again we will means modify the code itself the words of i dot care at care at of what zero we have to give so run it after running it we will get big yeah you can see that big now our target is complete up to 60 70 percent because we are getting each letters diff in the different sentences in the different lines but we want as big in a particular sentence itself so what i need to do i need to to have a empty string where we can add each letter and create a separate string itself so what i need i meant i meant like this one suppose that to 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 have a sum we generally do what sum equal to sum plus any variable we already know it similarly we have to create an empty string empty string equal to empty string string plus the condition whatever we have created so it will give our required result so for that particular thing we will create a empty string what we will create a string and instead of this this condition itself we can copy this desired as a variable equal to in the double quote we will write so it will create an empty string and here in before this system dot on print line we will create our scenario that is desired equal to desired plus whatever condition we have created so we have created words of i dot carrot of zero so we will put it here and give a semicolon now we have to remove this one and here we can print it but still i guess it is only 80 percent because it will give some error and i will tell you i will tell you what is the error so let me run it and you will get to know here you can see that b is printed then bi is present printed then big is presented printed but we don't want this output we want a single output as big what is the problem then here you can see here for because we have written that system dot printer inside this for loop itself so it is giving three result for because for i equal to zero what is happening let us see i equal to zero here here what's what's of zero is what what's of zero equal to equal to big and we are using what's of zero dot caret of zero means what b so it is printing b for the first loop itself again for words of one what is it what it is giving age is and we are using words of one dot caret caret of caret of zero so so it is printing i i from here so and we are using this this line itself means desired plus words of i dot carrot i means means b plus b plus i so in the second line it is giving b i similarly for third line it is giving b i plus g from good so it is giving big but we don't want this out this as output we want what 
we want to have a single output. So we have to give this system dot dot print line outside the for loop means after each iteration we want means at last we want to have the output. So whenever we will run it, we will get big outside the loop means the correct correct output we will give we will get so you can see that big we have got so i think i have i have made you understand the concept how to get a particular output using our logic similarly different codings coding uh, programming questions i will deal with and make you understand